Hi, and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Linda, and today we're going to be making smoothies. Uh, I started making smoothies years ago when I got this brochure pamphlet in the mail from the Dairy Farmers of Canada called Dairy Goodness. And there's this one smoothie that I started to make for the kids that they really loved. And it was actually a lifesaver when my son Curtis was sick because he had a hard time getting calories into him. And if you have a child or if you are someone who has a hard time getting calories into you, especially healthy ones, smoothies are great. And you'll notice in these smoothies that they're mostly healthy with fruit, yogurt, and milk being the majority ingredients. So I highly recommend them. I'm going to be doing three different smoothies for you, but in the description, I will list uh, several different ones from the uh, Dairy Goodness website and also try to post a link to there for you to go ahead and look at other ones. There's smoothie pops, lots of other things, and they've been really good for me, so I hope that you can enjoy them too. One thing I did learn when I started to make smoothies was you need a blender that can chop up frozen fruit. And your $15, $20 blender isn't really going to cut it. If it does, that's great. I wasn't looking for a top of the line one that would juice things. So I don't remember exactly how much this cost. It's a Ninja. It's a thousand watts. I can't imagine I paid more than 50 or $60 for it, but it's a really good investment. And um, we do only use it for smoothies, but we use it very regularly and it does a fantastic job. So I do recommend that. Um, I think we are, are okay to go ahead and get started. The recipes do measure out the ingredients. When I'm making smoothies, I don't measure them, I just go with um, pretty much guesswork, but you can do whatever you're most comfortable with. So, the first recipe we're going to make is called Mango Strawberry Smoothie. And it calls for a cup of mango and a half a cup of sliced strawberries. And so I've got those in my bowl here and I'm going to dump them in. One thing that I did learn is more is not better when it comes to fruit. Do not overload your smoothie with extra fruit. It overpowers the taste and it doesn't really accomplish what you're looking for. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and dump my fruit into the blender. It's one cup of frozen chopped mango and half of a cup of frozen sliced strawberries. Next, it calls for two tablespoons of chia seeds, hemp seeds, or ground flax seeds. But since those aren't really my thing, I'm just going to skip right over that. And it says to add a cup of milk. So I'm going to go ahead and add what I think is about a cup of milk. The great thing about a smoothie is if it's too thick, then you can just add more milk to it. And if it's too thin, well, you just have extra smoothie. Half a cup of yogurt. I use vanilla yogurt so that it doesn't change the flavor of the smoothie. Uh, one and a half teaspoons of honey or two teaspoons of maple syrup. I live in maple syrup country. We always have fresh real maple syrup on hand. So that's what I always use in my smoothies. And a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, there we go. Now, Now, 
for blending my smoothie, I usually, after I turn on my blender, I pulse it for a couple of times to chop up the fruit and then I just put it on power one for maybe 30 seconds. You don't want to go too long because it seems to add a lot of air into the smoothie, which I don't particularly care for. So let's give this a try. and pour some out, see how the thickness is, how the taste is, see if I need to tweak it before I serve it. Well, <laughs> this is clearly way too thick. So, it's going to need more milk. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some more milk in. In fact, I'll pour this smoothie back in too. <laughs> Let's give that another quick blending. Let's try that again. Now, that's much better thickness, consistency. Oh my goodness. Absolutely amazing. Mango strawberry smoothie. I haven't had this one before but I highly recommend it. It's absolutely delicious. Okay, I'm going to uh, put this smoothie aside and rinse my blender and I'll make my next smoothie. Okay, I'm ready for our second smoothie recipe. And this one is Cran Raspberry. I haven't had it before but it seems really interesting to me because I like the tartness of cranberries and raspberries. So I wanna see how it is. So let's give that one a try. This one calls for a cup of milk to start. Three quarters of a cup of raspberry or mixed berry yogurt. I have raspberry here. One cup of raspberries and a half a cup of frozen cranberries. Both of my fruits are frozen and I put them into this bowl. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump them into the blender. And this recipe calls for two tablespoons of liquid honey. I use maple syrup always, so I'm going to use that instead. That's definitely more sweetness than we would generally add to a smoothie, but it makes sense since both raspberries and cranberries can be tart. Okay, so I've got my ingredients. That was just five simple ingredients. I've got them in the blender. I'm going to turn my blender on. I'm going to pulse it a few times and then mix it together. Then I'll see how it is for thickness. I may need to add some more milk like last time. Okay. That's a 
very, very pink smoothie. Let's see how it is. I think it could do with a little bit more milk, but I'm just gonna go ahead and taste it and see how the rest of it is. Oh, okay. I thought the last one was amazing. This one is even better. It's phenomenal. I, I swear I have two new favorites. This cran raspberry is so easy and I'm just, I think I'm in love with it. So I definitely give this one a try. Okay, now this is the smoothie that I used to make for Curtis and Connor all the time. And that was so helpful uh, for getting some calories, healthy calories into Curtis. Uh, this is called the ultimate breakfast smoothie. And I like it because not only is it delicious and healthy and uh, adds a lot of protein, but the flavor is great. And it's a little bit more subtle than some of the other ones. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a try. I have learned that it's a really great idea to uh, pre-measure your frozen fruit into a bowl and that way you're not dumping it directly into the blender. If you're like me, sometimes you might over pour into the blender and as we said, more fruit is not better. My blender has an extremely sharp uh, blade system here and for putting your hands in and getting extra fruit out, not a good plan at all. So. I do recommend you pre-pour your frozen fruit into here. That way, if you pour too much, very easy to take some out with your clean hands. This recipe is always uh, also great because you can use your overripe banana. Adds a lot of flavor. And I'm only going to be making a half a recipe because there are only so many people drinking smoothies in this house right now. And I don't want to be left with way too much smoothie. So I'll post the recipe in the description, but I'm just going to make a small portion of it. And let's start with half a banana. And if you have bananas frozen in your freezer for banana bread or what have you, this is a great use for them. yogurt. I use vanilla yogurt so that again the flavor doesn't interfere with the flavor of the smoothie. Sometimes if you add for instance a strawberry yogurt to a strawberry banana smoothie it can just be a bit too overwhelming and I don't particularly care for that. A cup of milk. fruit. Honey, or in my case, maple syrup. I don't think I'd recommend the pancake syrup that's fake for this though. And a teaspoon of vanilla. You can make this recipe with just strawberries and banana and it turns into a fantastic strawberry banana smoothie. But if you'd like to add an assortment of uh, berries along with your banana, uh, we've learned through our trial and error that that's definitely okay too. So go ahead and put the lid on here. on, pulse it, and then run it. Okay, have a peek inside. 
side to check the consistency. Make sure it's not too, too thick. Oh, oh, it's just right. So let's see for taste. Starting to get full. Oh my goodness. Okay, you can't go wrong with any of these smoothies. This has a really nice blend of strawberry, blueberry, and banana. Very easy to make, and I highly recommend it. So any of these recipes or link to other recipes from Dairy Goodness website, and you definitely can't go wrong. Thanks for watching, and if you're enjoying my recipes, feel free to subscribe to my channel, where I try to keep it updated regularly with new recipes. Thank you.